What is up, everybody, guys? This is Mr. Reader here, back at it again with another video where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Wii U games on your Windows PC. It's very simple. There is an emulator called CMU. If you don't know what CMU is, it is a Wii U emulator that you can run on your Windows PC. So let's get into it, shall we? So basically, you're going to want to install these three files. Actually, these two files. You're going to want to install Wii U USB Helper and CMU. Links will be in the description down below. The CMU emulator website looks like this. You're going to want to download the latest version, obviously. And the greatest part about the latest version of CMU is that it has Vulkan support. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. You do not want to run your games in OpenGL, especially if you run on a low-end PC. And you're going to want to download USB Helper. This is where you get most of your Wii U games and your title key, which we will get into that here in a minute. So you're, going to, you're basically going to want to start by downloading this. This is the emulator itself that runs the games itself. So you're going to want to install CMU. Download the latest version right here. And then make sure you download this right here, usbinstaller.exe. Install that to your PC. And drag it to your desktop or wherever you'd like it to be. You're going to want to start by launching Wii U USB Helper. However, there's a catch. You need a Wii, Wii U title key. And I will not provide that to you for legal reasons. To get a title key, just do a quick Google search. The page is going to look like this. I'll show you what the page is going to look like. When you launch USB um, Helper, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You're going to do a quick Google search, Wii U title keys, and paste it in here. I'm not going to give you one for legal reasons, obviously. But if you want one, do a quick Google search. When you launch it, it's going to ask what country you basically live in. And it's going to ask for a title key. You're going to want to copy and paste it in there. Alright, now that that's done and out of the way, you're going, you're going to want to load Wii U USB Helper. Now the funny part about Wii U USB Helper is, is that you don't even have to install CMU to use it. Because it already installs CMU for you. So technically you don't have to go through the hassle of installing the emulator yourself. I recommend that you do just so you get the latest version of CMU. The latest release with Vulkan support. Which is runs way better than OpenGL. In every game that CMU supports basically. Is you're going to open this up. And this is where you're going to get your games. For obvious reasons, you're going to you're going to want to hop over. So once you reach this page, you're going to want to go over to advanced settings. In this general area, you're going to want to go to. Actually, you're going to want to go to emulator settings, not general advanced settings, and you're going to want to go to configure emulators. CMU. And right over here, you're going to want to change your directory to where you want your games to be installed to. The only game that I currently have installed is Super Mario 3D World. You can download and install Breath of the Wild. You can download and install pretty much any Wii U game that CMU can support and run well. Make sure that you check compatibility before you download a game off of this. I, but I, like I said, I, I do recommend... That you set your directory to wherever you want your games to be installed to. Mine is set to my desktop in my CMU folder. And I created a little games folder. And that's where I have my games installed to. When that's done, launch CMU. Now, now that that was pretty much straightforward. I mean, for the most part. Now you got to get your game up and running. You're going to want to go to where your game was installed and, and basically downloaded to. 
what directory did you set your game to be downloaded straight to? I mean, for me, I already told you. It was in my um, games. So it, it, basically, if, if I go to my desktop, CMU, I created a little games folder in here. For me, it's in data, USA, games, Super Mario 3D World, or you can basically go here. But you, basically, you, you want to go to here. Okay, sorry. You want to go to games. When you install a game, it'll be in games. The game that you installed, this is where all your games will be installed to. And then you want to go to code. And you will find a .rpx file. The .rpx file is the game itself. Most games are usually in these formats. Most of them are like, when you're, especially when you're downloading off of USB Helper, it's usually in a .rpx file. You're just going to launch, you're just basically going to want to launch that, and there you go. Super Mario 3D World is installed. It was that easy. I'm going to turn this down for a minute. And really, that's it. Now, that was pretty straightforward. But you're going to want to, again, you're going to want to connect either a controller or whatever you need to CMU. For me, I use basically a regular Xbox controller, and I'll show you guys how to set that up. It's not hard. You literally go to the options. You go to input settings. And you pick a controller you want to emulate. You select the controller when it's connected. And you just... Yeah, that's pretty much all you do. And you can set keybinds. So if you do want to play with mouse and keyboard, um, you can set keybinds as well, which is very nice. Um... And yeah, you can create a profile name. Um, keyboard. Hit save. Controller API. You can go here. And yeah, you can basically set it up however you want. This is for your inputs and stuff. Um, for keyboard, you're going to go to general settings. I mean, for graphics, you're, you're going to want to go to general settings. Now, this is very important. When you're setting this up, you're going to want to make sure that you have this set to Vulkan and whatever graphics card you're using. For me, I currently am using an RTX 2070 Super. Make sure that your uh, GPU is selected and make sure that this is set to Vulkan. Normally, the games run a little bit be better under, under um, that API. Usually, games run better than they do on OpenGL. So, you, you just want to make sure this is set to Vulkan. This is set to whatever graphics card you're using. Mine's an RTX 2070. Um, and you want to make sure this is set to bilinear, especially if you have a very low-end PC. And this upscale filter, you want to make sure this is set to bilinear as well, especially, again, if you're running a low-end PC. You normally want to keep aspect ratio. But other than that, guys, that's about it. I mean, that's how to set up Wii U games on your PC. You're going to want to get USB Helper, and you're going to want to install CMU. And guys, if you're running games like Breath of the Wild that are a lot more demanding, you're going to want to look into something called Graphics Packs. And you can get these online. You can search CMU Graphics Packs. Normally, CMU comes fully loaded with graphics packs now which i'll show you guys here in a minute but if you're running again if you're running games like breath of the wild you're gonna need it it's kind of a must-have at this point i mean i'm sure now that cmu has vulcan support and all that yeah i'm sure it's gotten better but i'm gonna show you why graphics packs are pretty important so i'm just gonna uh go over to options here and there's gonna be a little tab that says graphics packs now the nice part about having USB Helper is that USB Helper downloads the graphics packs automatically when you install your game. It'll come with it normally. It'll ask you whether or not you want to install the gra the proper graphics packs that comes with it. For me, obviously, the only game I have currently installed right now is 3D World. They have like little enhan enhancements, whatever resolution you want to play it at. Um, you can now all this kind of stuff and. For Breath of the Wild, there's a lot of stuff that improves your frame rate. Like, you can turn off shadows. You can turn off a bunch of different stuff. 
in the graphics pack settings to basically improve performance. And really, guys, it's really all you need to know about running Wii U games on your PC. Yes, this video isn't supposed to be an in-depth tutorial. It's not meant to be in-depth. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what it's like to emulate Wii U games on Windows PCs in 2021. I'm giving you an idea of the basically the current state we're at, you know what I mean, when it comes to graphics packs, when it comes to where we're at in terms of all this. I recommend, though, that if you do have, if you do want to run CMU or any emulator like this, that you do have an AMD or NVIDIA GPU, because if you don't, for obvious reasons, if you're running, like, integrated graphics, you're going to have a hard time running this, for obvious reasons. It's, I mean, I wouldn't say it's experimental right now. Yes, it's obviously being, obviously it's it's experimental, but it's gotten really good, surprisingly. And if, if you guys want to play Wii U games on your PC, this is a good way of doing it. You, I mean, for real, CMU has really come a long way. Um, I highly recommend it. All the download links will be in the description down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.